Hi parents, hi boys and girls, welcome to Hybrid Math Workbooks Grade 1. And I'm so excited to be working with you and helping you out because I know that you're going to be an outstanding student in math. Let's take a look at pages 2 to 3 in your first grade workbook. And what we're doing right now is we're going to be talking about word problems up to 20, when we're adding up to 20. So let's take a look at the first one and let's go ahead and get started, okay? So this says, there were seven dogs at the dog park. A few minutes later, ten more dogs were brought by their owners to the dog park. How many dogs are there at the dog park? Okay, so let's take a look at this, okay? So let's go ahead and let's read this step by step. So there were seven dogs at the dog park. A few minutes later, ten more dogs were brought by their owners to the dog park. How many dogs are there at the dog park? So I always like to draw pictures. You don't have to draw pictures if you don't want to, but it's a great habit to have, okay? So let's see. So there were seven dogs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus, there were ten more dogs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? So now we have seven plus ten equals... And when we're adding 10s to 7, we know that that's 17. Let me verify. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So there were 17 dogs at the dog park. Now let's take a look at number 2. Number 2 reads, Billy had 5 pencils. If he bought another 8 pencils, how many pencils would he have in total? So let's see. So let's go ahead and go back to the question and let's read it. Billy had five pencils. If he bought another eight pencils, how many pencils would he have total? Let's see. So he had five pencils. One, two, three, four, five. Plus, he had <clears throat> eight pencils. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that's going to be 8 plus 3. I'm sorry, 8 plus 5. Or 5 plus 8 equals. So let's see. I can go ahead and I can just count up. So here I have 8 plus 5. Let's count up. Let's put 8 in our head and let's count up. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So Billy had 13 pencils. Let's verify. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Is that 13? Yes, it is. Now let's take a look at number 3. Tay has 9 goldfish at home. If Jose has 11 fish, how many fish do they have in total? Okay, so here I'm going to do Tay. Tay has nine goldfish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus, Jose, Tay has nine. Jose has eleven fish. So let's see. Jose has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Equals. So we have. 9 plus 11 equals, okay? So now what I'm going to do, boys and girls, is I'm going to use the compensation strategy. I'm going to make this into a 10. So how do I do that? By subtracting 1. 11 minus 1 equals 10. If I subtract 1 from here, I'm going to add one, for, add one here. So now it's so much easier. Now it's going to be 10 plus 10 equals 20. So Tay and Jose have 20 fish. Okay, boys and girls? We're going to be going over more strategies as we go along this workbook, but I just want to introduce you to a few right now. So go ahead and do set one and set two of the addition word problems up to 20. Have fun, boys and girls. And remember, there's a lot of space in there. Draw fish, draw pencils, have fun with it, and guess what you can do with this workbook too? You can color in it as much as you want. Have fun boys and girls.